to Mame Town! It's the holiday season! Christmas is almost here! It crept up on me like a thief in the night. Or a rapist. Either way, no good Christmas. No good. There are lots of things you should avoid during this time of year. Like scales! No one wants to know how many pounds you're packing on. You'll get rid of it on January 1st. That Mariah Carey song, All I Want for Christmas. It burrows into your brain like a worm and it will live there for a month and it will drive you slowly mad like Chinese water torture. Your Uncle Bobby, after he's had a few too many peppermint schnapps. But the biggest thing that you should avoid this holiday season is showing up to one of those ugly Christmas sweaters in a boring old generic ugly Christmas sweater. You know the ones. They've got Frosty, or they've got Rudolph. They've got the same bullshit on them, and everyone thinks they're so unique. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna teach you how to make your own ugly Christmas sweater, and a thing that I like to call the Ugly Christmas Sweater Toot Tutorial. <laughs> I just like saying toot. It means fart. <laughs> For the first sweater, all you're going to need is a turtleneck, fake black fur, various pink felts, a tiny little baby, and a hot glue gun. First thing you do is you take your pink felt and cut a couple strips out of them. Boom! Next, you are going to take your fur and cut an eyeball almond shape in the middle of it. But Mary, you're vegan. Is that faux fur? Faux, oh, sure. High five, tiny ham thing. Boom! Once that's all done, warm up your hot glue gun and assemble. Boom! A nativity sweater. Mary's goods and tiny baby Jesus. As you can see, I drew a tiny beard on this baby. I did decide to go full bush for Mary. After all, how many virgins do you know that wax? Am I right? If you are going to make this delightful nativity sweater, I suggest bringing a lint roller with you to the party, because this bitch sheds. There is fake pubic hair all over this whole apartment. Whoa! The second ugly Christmas sweater I'm gonna teach you how to make is a lot more traditional and a lot less vaginal. But seriously, I'm like itching. It is insane. Pubes everywhere, pubes everywhere, pube, pube, pubes everywhere, pubes everywhere, pube, pube, pube. To make this reindeer sweater, you are going to need a turtleneck, a hot glue gun, some double-sided sticky sparkly paper stuff, two blinking reindeer noses, and glow-in-the-dark puffy paint. Oh, and googly eyes! The first thing we're gonna do is take our double-sided felt and we're gonna cut two sets of antlers. Toads, adorbs! In the spirit of Christmas, which is the spirit of excess, I thought, what's better than one Rudolph? Why two Rudolphs? So I'm going to take my puffy paint to draw the outline of the faces and assemble. Hello! Somebody's gonna want me to guide their sleigh tonight. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. This ugly sweater is always a major hit at all the parties. And because we used glow-in-the-dark paint, we also have a built-in party trick. Crazy! Bum, 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 bum. These sweaters also make great gifts for people that you don't want to be friends with anymore. That is it for Mame Town today. Quick announcement though. Starting in January, I am going to post a new video every first and third Monday of the month. Mame Town Mondays. See how long I keep that up. <laughs>